Welcome to the very last Facebook post before tomorrow's election. First of all, let me thank each and every one of you. It has been my honor and my privilege to speak for you in across the state on the issues that we all cared so deeply about. In these last hours before we go to the polls, I have a couple of requests. First, as Ben Franklin told the Constitutional Convention, God does indeed govern in the affairs of men. And so let us remember to gird ourselves with prayer in these next hours and tomorrow so that we would be open to his will and his wisdom. Secondly, if you have any social media presence, whether it's Facebook or Twitter, your own email list, this is the time to tell those in your circle of friends and family, your sphere of influence, who you're voting for, hopefully me, and why. Just a simple statement that I am voting for Peg carries an immense amount of weight with those who look to you for guidance. And we often don't know who those people are. So take the opportunity today to make your final statement on your own page and in your own email lists and on your own Twitter so that those who know you know who you're voting for and why, and hopefully take some encouragement from that and we'll join you at the polls. Secondly, spend some time on the phone. Try to make at least five phone calls to those whom you know will be like-minded and encourage them to vote. Remind them tomorrow's election day. Encourage them to vote as well. Oftentimes, all it takes is a tiny little bit of encouragement to in increase our voter turnout and help our voters to come to the polls. It's supposed to be a stormy day tomorrow, so your encouragement will, in fact, help. Finally, I will use this method tomorrow night, once the results are clear, to send a final message either of our new beginning or of a final thanks. I appreciate all that you have done more than you will know. It has been such a privilege to work with you. God bless each of us on this final day, and I'll see you on the other side.